Hey, hey you, yes you, see all these wonderful people right here? They are my Patreons. With the support I get from them, I can afford to do my passion as a career and bring you guys weekly videos. Want to join them? For just $1 a month, you can get videos 24 hours before anyone else. And for even higher tiers, you can get Polaroids, letters, and mystery boxes from me to you. And even fursuit parts, not to mention my eternal thanks. So what are you waiting for? Become a Patreon today via the link in the description. Thanks again, enjoy the video. laying down. All right, good morning everyone. Welcome back to another episode of the Proto Den. This episode I am going to be doing um, fursuit fans. Uh, electronics are not my strong suit. I don't know anything about circuits. I'm not an electrical engineer or a sparky by any degree. Um, I've made one before. This was for my prototype kimono head. We're gonna do some slightly smaller fans and I'm not gonna look at anything. I'll look at this, this will be my only reference. Honestly, I don't know how this is gonna go. I'll show you what I've got with me today. So I have a board just to help me put things on. I have two little fans. These are five volt DC fans. So DC means direct current. So I'm hoping these will be good um, to help prevent that fogging. So I have those two. I have a USB cable. This one just goes to a little plug, but we're gonna get rid of that anyway. I have a heat gun for the heat shrink wire strippers, wires, I have a power bank to test it, I have guards which I'll be using later and a whole bunch of heat shrink to seal off the cables. So I think the thing I'm going to start with is stripping this cable down. Um, I definitely don't need it this long. These are just tin snips so I'm just gonna do that. And now I can see that this is red and white so that's gonna make my life shitloads easier. Red and white Red and white. Well, I guess we're trying this. This might not work. This might not work. So now we have two cables, white and red. In this one, I used white and black but I'm assuming this, because this is only a power cable that we are gonna match up the red and the white. Okay, okay now we're gonna use the smallest one to strip off to the copper. Oh, fuck. Fuck! So I've got two little exposed bits of wire. Okay, so now I need to remember how I did this. So red is kind of molded into red to make one thing. And then, okay, so I need to strip this. So I won't seal off. I usually would seal off the um, wire I'm not using, but I'm not 100% certain on this one. So we'll see. Okay, so what we're gonna try is because if this is gonna work like I think it will, if I attach the white to the white and the red to the red, and then I turn it, I plug it in and turn it on, it, this fan should work. So we'll see how we go. So the way I'm gonna do it is I'm just gonna wrap the wires together, like so. So I'm just gonna kind of twist them around one another. All right, so they're not attached. So we're gonna leave that there. And now we're gonna take this I'm gonna plug it into our power bank, so we'll turn it on. Let's see if this works. And that is definitely not working. Definitely not on, definitely not working. So that tells me that something's wrong. So, unplug that. So I suspect that it's this one instead. So we'll try this one and we'll see if that worked. Okay. So under, I've stripped the black wire and we're gonna attach it to the white wire this time. Attached the black wire to the white wire this time. 
because sometimes like white wires can mean information. So there we go. So now we know that it's the black and the red cables from here, so we can seal off this white cable. Good start. Great start. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. So now that we know that that's happening, we can kind of set this aside. So we want to, I'm going to trim this off. So like that. I don't want to leave any exposed bits of wire, so I'm going to heat shrink that end. Now what, for people who don't really know electronics that well, heat shrink is this stuff. So it's essentially tube, tube, plastic tubing. And when you, so if I wanted to do this, I'm going to cut a bit just to demonstrate. So cut a little bit of heat shrink, tiny, tiny bit and then I'm going to put it over here. So that's gonna sit over the top of that wire and then I'm gonna heat it. So I'm gonna use my heat gun, this is a bit of an overkill heat gun, to heat it up and it's gonna shrink down to seal off the ends. Um, so yeah, we're gonna do that. But for the moment, we're gonna trim this one. So now that we know that the white is the useless cable that we don't want, the white in this case, because this is a PC fan, would be to control how fast it's going. Ah, oh, fuck, I broke it. Fuck. Fuck. Ah! I have some cable now, so it's much substantially shorter. Like, I'm sure it's fine. So we're gonna start by grabbing both of these and we're gonna twist two red cables together. Now we grab both black cables and twist them together. Now we're gonna strip this a little bit more. The, this is the USB cable, so now we've got these. I want to strip this a bit more. Fuck. There we go. That's one. That one's good. I'm happy with that length. Next one. Don't fuck it up. Don't fuck it up. I, did I fuck it? I fucked it. So now we go white to black. And then we're gonna... Oh, forgot something very important. Heat shrink, heat shrink, heat shrink, heat shrink. I'm gonna untwist this and I'm gonna use this end here. Just feed it through the tube, like so, all the way, so that this comes out the other end. And I'm going to rewrap it over the white, connect it, and then I'm going to slide the heat shrink over it like that. So what I actually should do, <laughs> asterisk, is get some of this as well. We're going to double heat shrink it, so, so I'm actually going to have to undo that again. And both of these are gonna have to go through because we want it to be like that. Okay, so that heat shrink can sit and chill out down there. Cut another bit of uh, heat shrink, snippety snop. And now we wrap. Okay, so now that that's all kind of stuck together, um, we're gonna test that it works because that's really important. Um, okay, so we've got both of those. Those are going together to the red. The two blacks are going together to the white. And now we plug it in and we see if it works. Okay. Got both of them? Yeah, boys, we in business. We in business. Oh, it feels so nice. They're gonna sit here and they're actually gonna blow it. I can't tell if they wanna blow it in or out. I'll figure that out later. But that's working. Okay, so now we've gotta finish it, so. Okay, so now we're gonna heat shrink stuff. So I'm gonna plug this in. Can you see the safety hazard? There it goes. Now we're gonna do this red boy here. So now these are both heat shrinked together. So that's not gonna go anywhere now. And now we're gonna put the big black heat shrink over the lot of them and we're gonna heat shrink that down. So there we go. We have two fans. Ignore the fact that this cable is stupidly long. It doesn't matter. It's all gonna, all gonna be hidden anyway. So we're gonna now stick this bit on the end of the white. Just pinch that closed. 
it kind of melts it so you can kind of pinch it and it'll seal it off that's sealed off now that's nice and safe almost done almost done almost there pretty firm and there's a second one now we're gonna see because now that it's all heat shrank that's pretty all pretty permanent now they're working Ow, fuck it's gonna be sitting on top of the head so i'm not 100 certain what i want it to do yet Okay, only for now, I'm gonna charge this battery and we will get to putting these in the head. All right, so I have me fans. They're currently half in the head. And I've started the lining on this kit and I've only glued it about halfway. So I have my fans, my cable, and I've done my lining. I'll do a tutorial on how to do this at a later date when I have a head that's really well suited for it. Um, so I've done the lining and I've only glued it about halfway. Um, only leaving the back half. So I've cut a hole in the top of the head for where the fan's gonna sit. I just traced around it and cut it out with an X-Acto blade. These are hiding inside the ears to help ventilate the air out of the head. So they'll be blowing out rather than in. So just ugh, stuff in my eyes. So just suck all of the hot air out and hopefully decrease the temperature inside. And I think I'm gonna thread it through the little gap. So I'm gonna go underneath the lining so that we hide the cable, so we don't want the cable to be visible. So I'm gonna, there we go, it's in, it's in. And I'm just gonna slot that into the hole like that, I think. And we'll repeat with the other one, other one. She's in. Yeah, so I think now that that's there, I'm gonna glue the fans in, so they're there permanently. When I actually further head, I will be adding, is this hot? Yes. I will be adding, a little bit of um, longer furs around the edges of it just to help with hiding it so yeah when you're gluing it be careful not to get any in the actual mechanics because that's going to stop it but that's going to stop it moving i suspect um so i'm just going to cement it in around the sides i think i'm going to put my glue bag in i uh not but myself not once not twice but three times doing this lining today so i'm in pain <laughs> So there's already a grill on top of here, I've noticed. So there's a grill already, but I don't think there's a grill on this side, which is why we have the little grill bit that I have, which is somewhere. This bit, which I think is gonna go on this bottom side in here, if I can get it in there, just to kind of stop any like nasty bits, any hair getting in there, because you don't want your hair caught in a fan blade. That sounds like the opposite of fun. Okay, I'm just gonna finish gluing this lining down because I know it's really hard to see what I'm doing and I really am sorry for that, but it's really hard to show. Glue this other one in. I'm gonna add glue around the edges here and the long fur is gonna be here and to the side so that it conceals it a little bit. Like if you're on top of her, you'll obviously be able to see it, but there's not really much I can do about that, I'm afraid. And I know I'm gonna get people asking this. Oh my God, Sky, why didn't you do a proto den for the kimono eyes? Well, it's simply because I don't owe all of my fursuit making secrets to you. Ow! A burn is stinging. <laughs> I don't necessarily want to be sharing that information just yet. It will come sometime in the future, but just not right now. I'm sorry. Alright. You can see them. They're in there. Alright. I'm going to add these grills in and glue them in and finish gluing down the stuff. Also, excuse the mess, I've just been back from doing movie extra work and I just have not had the time nor energy to clean. So you're gonna have to cope. So sorry for all the OCD people out there, I'm the opposite of OCD. Okay, so now we gotta check it. We gotta check it, guys. Check if it works. If not, then we cry. I'm gonna finish gluing it all down at the back and then I'm gonna leave that bit unglued and this is all gonna go into a pouch on the base of the neck. I'm so fucking worried. It's making noise. And it seems like they're both working. Guys, I did it, holy shit. Let's unplug that and let's glue the rest down. All right, I'm gonna time lapse this because there's not much else besides gluing. So give me a second, listen to my podcast.
All right. I think that's it. I think, I think we've done it. And yeah, that's just gonna be connected to a power bank of the commissioner's ownership. And yeah, wrapped around and popped into a neck pocket. But no, this will make sure that the eyes don't fog up, hopefully. And yeah, let me know what you guys think. Did I do it horribly wrong? Were you screeching at me from across the void? Probably, but um, yeah, I guess that's it for this episode of Proto-10. I will see you all next time. And yes, you can do it. <laughs>